if you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer this question on your own before listening on. In the diagram, we have a block that's attached to the spring. And as the block is moved across the surface, there are two types of work that are being done on the block. There is the work done by the spring force, which we can call W sub S. And then there is the work done by the applied force that's described in the question, which we can call W sub A. Now, we know that as the block slides across the surface, that the work done by the spring force is equal to the following expression. We have 1 half multiplied by the spring constant, multiplied by the initial position squared, and then minus 1 half k multiplied by the final position squared. Notice that in this formula, the initial position comes first, and then the final position comes second. Now, we also know that the work done by the applied force is going to simply equal the negative value of whatever the work done by the spring force is. And so what we can do is actually divide this equation by negative 1 so that we're basically moving the negative sign over to the left-hand side. And we're going to make a substitution. We're going to take this expression for the work done by the spring force, and we're going to plug it in for W sub S. Now, we know the question is asking us for the block's final position, so what we have to do is solve this equation for x sub f. And perhaps to do that, we can multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2. We'll just make sure that we distribute the negative 2 to both terms on the right-hand side. We could then add the term kxi squared over to the left-hand side. We could then divide each term by k so that it cancels out in two of the terms. And then finally, we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation to isolate x sub f. Now, we just have to be careful because when we square root the left-hand side, we're going to get both a positive result and a negative result. And that's actually going to be in line with the question stating that there are actually two answers. So we'll have a positive final position and a negative final position. We're now ready to plug in the given values. Notice that the applied work, or the work done by the applied force, was stated as positive 4 joules. K is the spring constant, which we can actually figure out by noting that K would be equal to the force divided by the displacement. Now the question noted that a force of 80 newtons produced a displacement of 0 0.02 meters. Notice we're converting the centimeters into meters. And so if we divide that out, we would get 4,000 newtons per meter. So that's going to be the value of k that we can plug into the formula. And then the initial position was stated to be negative 0 0.02 meters. Again, note we're converting that into meters. So we'll go ahead and plug in all that known information. And when you crunch that all down on your calculators, you should get approximately plus or minus 0 0.049 meters and if you needed to convert that back into centimeters, you could say plus or minus 4.9 centimeters. So that would be the correct answers for the final position in either centimeters or in meters. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe so you could stay tuned for similar videos. You're welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post the answer to it on YouTube.